image segmentation is a task that identifies each and every single pixel of the image. For example, here's a border collie rounding up a herd of sheep. If you apply semantic segmentation on this image, we'll receive one mask on the dog and one mask for all the sheep. But if you apply instant segmentation on the image, we'll receive precise mask for each and every sheep. This is powerful for domains like ADAS, Augmented Reality and Medical Imaging. Hey there, welcome to Learn Open CV. In this video, we're going to explore instant segmentation for medical imaging by fine-tuning and comparing YOLO V8 and YOLO V9 models. We are going to be using the Nuclei Instant Segmentation dataset, which consists of 665 image mask pairs over 31 human and mouse organ samples. The images are of size 512 cross 512. We'll be splitting the dataset in 80 to 20 ratio in training and validation sets. Now let's fine tune and compare the models from YOLO V8 and YOLO V9. To follow along with me, open the Learn Open CV blog post link from the description, click on the download code banner, fill in your details and hit enter. You'll receive a starter code link on your email, download it and let's get started. Step 1. Prepare the environment. We start by installing the required libraries and importing them. Then we will set the seeds to reproduce the experiments. Step 2. Prepare and process the dataset. We have provided a convenient Dropbox link to download the dataset. This is an extensive dataset. But we only need the tissue images, its masks and the labels. We'll only keep these folders and delete the rest. After the cleanup, this should be a directory structure. Each organ should have the tissue images and the masks. Now our annotations are in binary image masks. But to train the model, we need to provide the annotations in YOLO format. So we will convert the image mask to Coco JSON format and then convert it to YOLO format because it's easier that way. The function get image mask pairs returns the image path and its corresponding mask path as a pair. Then the function mask to polygon accepts the masks and applies contour direction to the image to get the annotations. We discard the invalid contours and return a list of only the valid contour coordinates, that is the X and Y points of the contours. Check out this video to know more about contour detection using OpenCV. In the process data function, we import the image and mask paths and the output image and label directory. This function will convert the annotations to YOLO format. Loop through the images and the mask paths and append a dictionary with the image metadata to the images list. Next, we find all the unique values in the mask. This will be 0 for the background and 1 for the label. Hence, our unique values will be 0 and 1. Loop through the unique values. If it is 0, skip it. Otherwise, wherever it is 1, multiply it by 255, thereby creating a black and white blob-like image. Now pass this mask to the function mask to polygons which will return a list of all the valid contour coordinates. So for each contour in the mask, append the annotation information to the annotations list. Finally, create the COCO input dictionary by combining the images list and the annotations list followed by the labels. Now that we have the annotations in the COCO format, we can easily convert it to YOLO format. Iterate through the COCO input dictionary and create a new text file for each image and dump the normalized annotations to it. Step 3. Prepare the data. Now to train the model, we will need to provide a YAML file with the dataset config. The create YAML function will input all the dataset paths and write the YAML file. At the end of this process, this should be our directory structure. The YOLO dataset preparation function is our driver function to prep the dataset. It defines all the paths, creates the directories, 
reads the images and splits them into train and test cell. The function then calls the process data function to save the annotations in YOLO format and finally creates the YAML file. Step 4. Fine-tune the model. We will be using Ultralytics to fine-tune the YOLO v8 and v9 models. Here we are showing steps for YOLO v9e, but it can be easily changed to other models. Build the model and then load the pre-trained segmentation weights. To fine-tune the model, use model.train and pass the data.yaml file for the dataset configuration. Epochs specify the number of times the model should iterate over the data, while images specify the input image size and patch specify the number of images to train at a time. With patience equals zero, we make sure the training will not stop early and go on for the complete 70 epochs. When we run this cell, Ultralytics loads other training options like the task at hand, freezing layers, augmentation, and lots more. This is the YOLO v9 model architecture. For each epoch, it prints the GPU memory used, the various loss functions, number of instances in the current batch, note that the number of instances keep changing for each batch, and finally, the input image size for training. Once the model is trained for an epoch, it will validate the model and output the box and mask metrics, and then train the model for the next epoch. At the end of the 70th epoch, the model is again evaluated with the best weights and the results are saved in the project directory. Here are the training graphs. We can see that the loss is steadily decreasing while the metrics are in an increasing fashion. Step 5. Running Inference To run inference, load the model with the best weights and then call model.predict and pass the image, the confidence threshold and the input image size. Use save equals true to save the prediction to disk. After fine-tuning all the models, these are the MAP 50 to 95 values that we get. We can see that all the values are comparable, but the YOLO v8 large has the best scores. In the visual comparison, the ground truth instances are colored purple, predicted instances are in red, and missed instances are in black. YOLO v8 large with 1024 input image size performs well consistently. While YOLO v9, which is the more recent model, almost always performs second best. Well, this could be attributed to YOLO v8 being more than a year older and hence more optimized and maybe increasing the training dataset would produce better results. So, that's all about fine-tuning and comparing YOLO instance segmentation models on a medical imaging dataset. If you like this video, why don't you check out the experiments involved in fine-tuning a model or other videos in the YOLO Masterclass playlist. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.